up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you look behind me, you'll see what used to be my favorite car, my 2010 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1, up until I bought my R8 in September of 2020. And this car hasn't gotten a whole lot of love, but we're gonna give it some love now. It's time to take it back to the shop and perfect this car. It hasn't quite performed how I've expected it to the last couple of years, uh, maybe with the tune, I don't know if the heat exchanger is not working how it should, but it's still one of my favorite cars and it is so much fun to drive. It's about 800 horsepower on a dyno jet and uh, 750 on a Mustang dyno. And it wasn't quite performing up to those numbers. So if you guys remember my uh, new friend, Chris Wells at DDX Performance in Detroit, he's also part owner in CT Performance, who is a ZR1 specialty shop. They're gonna be picking this car up today, taking it to their shop and see what they think they need to do to make it what it should be. So we're gonna go meet up with Chris here in a few minutes, load it up in the trailer, say goodbye to it for a few months, and then they're gonna give me a ring and uh, here shortly and let me know what they think we should do to the ZR1. So let's hop in the car, head over to the shop. <laughs> Every time. What's up? How are you doing? Welcome to Omaha. Yeah, appreciate it. Nice to see you guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming out here. Nice to meet you. Am I good there? Uh, yeah, we can load there and then we can pull it in when we're done. Okay. Look at this rig right here. 53 foot with sleeping quarters. I didn't have a chance to look at this when we were at your shop. We saw everything else. No, I don't this kind of hide back Beautiful there. trailer. Thanks, I just got it. Ooh. Dang. That is nice. She looks good in here. It's weird seeing it going to someone else's trailer. It's like, uh, like it's cheating on me. I'm so used to like <laughs> loading it in our own trailer. It's weird to see it going to someone much else's. Space you want with, front? with room for another car. This thing is sweet. I love this thing. Is it weird seeing it going to someone else's trailer? Yeah. Yeah. No, I was <laughs> it looks weird stock. It hasn't it looked like this since I bought it. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Put, a, put a bunch of stock stuff back on there. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. See you later. Bye. bye. Have a nice trip. Aww. Well, Spank Bank is in Chris's trailer. It's heading to Detroit tomorrow morning. And Shane at CT Performance is going to go through the car. Let me know what we're looking at to get it back 100%. And we'll come up with the game plan. So stay tuned for that. We'll let you know shortly. All right, guys, it's been a few months since I've seen the ZR1. It's been here at CT Performance since I dropped it, well, since Chris picked it up. It's done. We're gonna go see it for the first time, see all the changes have been made to it, put on the dyno, see how much power it makes, and then take it out for the first drive. I can't wait. All right, where's she at? Ah, strapped down and ready to dyno. What's up? What's up? Kyle Loftus. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you again, man. There she is. She is here and she's complete. <laughs> It looks good. So before we jump into the dyno, you guys are all ready to go. We are. We're Let's go through on. what all has changed sure. since you picked it up in February. Sure. It's... So it came here, obviously modified already, and yep. we thought there may be a motor issue. We weren't quite sure. Yeah, got I it could tell it was down on power. Correct. Got it torn down and uh, did turn out there was a motor issue. So we had to go through the motor. So the, the Alistine's been gone through. We got a, a new Alistine in the uh, in the uh, engine bay here. And then on top of that, uh, we did uh, our ported heads package. So we have our CNC in the background there somewhere doing that. Literally got ported right there. It got ported That's pretty all cool. over, whatever, 50 feet away. Uh, <laughs> so uh, ported heads, our ported heads, uh, a GP stage three cam, which works really well with these cars and our setup. Um, the, essentially the whole Synergy treatment too. So it, it, Blower was set out to Synergy Motorsports, got their race port done on it. Synergy intake, you can see, we've got you know the uh, Synergy inlets, we've got the Synergy underhood water tank. You did not want to go with the, the trunk mount, which I understand no. completely because yeah. of screw holes and going through carpet Street and car life. I get it. No, I get it. Um, got some new seats for you in there as well. Some That's what I'm really seats. excited for. Oh my God. Look at these. They look great. The 
glass cushion was broken on the left side there, so I was like sitting sideways. So your left so cheek we, was, was feeling it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of ruined the whole experience for me. I'm trying to think what else we did, to be honest. Look around the hood. I mean, you had already had, you already had 85. You already yep. had, uh, so the fuel system was already done. Yep. Um, you already had exhaust, so it, ultimately we, we tweaked some things there, but not a lot of changes on that end. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, honestly, we just cleaned up some stuff that you wanted done. Yeah, there's a long list of fixes that we went through, but there there's was. some nice upgrades we're going to find out. The list wasn't super interesting in terms of yeah. your audience, but that said, I get it, they're annoyances, <laughs> so we got them fixed. Before I forget, too, we, we did do an Edelbrock heat exchanger on it as well, which is a standard right. upgrade for these cars. So, yeah, the cooling side, I think, was completely redone, and then heads cam blower yep. uh, intake. Some chop. Hell yeah. Test drive, here we go. ZR1 is officially back. I'm excited. I'm going to head back home, get ready for the ice cream cruise. The car's going to be back in a few days, but big shout out to CT Performance. If you guys have a ZR1 or any Chevy Performance car, make sure to check them out. Let's get back to Omaha. We'll see the car in just a few days. All right, we're here at the ice cream cruise. It's time to do some racing. We're going to start off with our best of show car show winner from Off the Line Performance. It's Fox Body back here with the Godzilla motor in it. it makes what, 900 horsepower? He said it might spin a little bit. Micro makes 900 horsepower. See how it goes. Woo! <laughs> 
just stayed. Really? He was like right there. Oh, uh, if you could have caught traction. Yeah, it was maybe close. We'll, maybe we'll try it again later. It was yeah. really close. I got a couple other races and then we'll try it. Are you going to be here for a while? Yeah, yeah. yeah. One kill on the ZR1 so far. Let's see what else we can find. stopped. Woo! <laughs> this thing's working so good. <laughs> I love it. This car has given me troubles for years and I fucking love it. It's working so perfect right now. So Justin and I have been going back and forth for quite a while street racing. Well, racing. I beat him for a few years. He did beat me a few times a couple days ago in Mexico. Let's see how it goes here with the ice cream cruise. again but I got him that time so I don't know what to do <laughs> we do it again I don't know do we <laughs> I figured 
out second gear though, I just needed to roll into the throttle to not spin. The first two I spun pretty bad. I got excited because me and Justin have a thing back and forth for years. At least he didn't miss a, get, a shift there. Yeah, that was a close race, but I think third, that was just way too low for third. Yeah, I finally... Because, yeah, that's... The same. first two races, I got excited and I just floored it right away, so it was yeah. like all over the place, so that one I just like rolled into it. Yeah, I worked. definitely, that second one, I went all over yeah. and then, yeah, it just wanted to go in. The first time I didn't miss it as bad, but yeah, Shane definitely did a good job with these things. I know, both of them are built by CT Performance. Yeah. Justin's car is built too. Yours is made 990, but it's detuned? Yeah, but it was turned up there, but yeah, it's like, too it's, much it's, power for this. Yeah, yeah, this surface is just so, yeah, screw it. It's, yeah, it's hard to put it, actually use it. These so, cars, yeah, these cars are crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, they're a lot of fun. All right, we're gonna get at least one more race, and I gotta race Kyle now. Thanks for the yep. Run. Yep. That was awesome. yeah. This one makes what, like, 900? 900. 900, okay. I think this should be a pretty good run for the hatch. Hell yeah. 900 Here's horsepower. Se back. 700? Yeah, 700 all wheel drive. 700 or 700? No, it's at like like 700. It might even okay. be like 675. Perfect. I mean, 650 on the down. Because the NSX you know. made like 800 or yeah, whatever. Yeah, the NSX was 800. <laughs> but no, the hatch is actually 700. Perfect. Good luck. Every time we race, we have to race like seven times to get one good run in. So hopefully it's two this time. six runs to get the ZR1 and the Rowdy Sea run. We're gonna give him one more chance. That was like dead even. I was starting to pull on him a little bit before the gear shift, but I think he's got more boost up top, so who knows what would happen. <laughs> wow, that was a race. That was good. That was fucking awesome. I honestly thought he'd put up a little more of a fight, so maybe something went wrong with his car. It's but possible. He just stopped back there. Did he? Okay, no. Kyle. Awesome work. Oh, my God. It's good to I have it back. I love this car. It's good to have it back and running 100%. CT Performance knows how to build a ZR1. If you get a ZR1, you need it done, CT Performance is the place to go. <laughs> All right, close this out. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe as always, and we'll see you next time.